One of the things that I see as common mistakes that people make is making the wrong assumptions about what the lender will think about a person's situation. So when we come across details of non-disclosure of debts or credit cards that have not been used for a while and they've been forgotten or they've uh, got a loan repayment and instead of having a disclosure of zip pay or after pay, they forget about it and that non-disclosure goes to the character of the person or the responsibility of the person to give us full disclosure. Full disclosure is more important than partial disclosure because if we know all the information and so does the lender and we can explain it, then it's much easier to get the loan approval. An example of this is recently we had a situation where a client was looking at um, completing a visa application for her husband and she had an Amex credit card and she missed a couple of payments because she just was focused on applying for visa. Then when we went to the lender, the lender picked up the fact that there was a non-payment of a credit card. And instead of being aware for us to be able to explain why that happened, it's an immediate kind of, uh, it's an immediate issue on the character of the of the person because they've not paid something and they've not, not told us why. Everyone can explain why and if it's got a legitimate reason such as I'm applying for a visa or I was injured at work and I missed the payment here or for whatever reason as long as it's legitimate lenders will understand that and the common mistake is people think that they won't. Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to the Sydney Listings Academy. Um, just a quick disclaimer that this advice is generic and is not to be used by individuals. We take no liability for misuse of this information and encourage you to seek out professional advice specific to your situation. Please reach out to get in touch with our network of trusted professionals if you so need it. And just before you take off, uh, just a quick note, obviously we're working on something with the Sydney Listings Academy to help educate people about the potential in property, finance and investing. So if you want to support the Sydney Listings Academy, please share the content with friends, family and followers if you have them. And also follow Sydney Listings on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn and or YouTube, wherever you like to hang out as well as our website and check that out for more resources as well. Thank you very much guys and we'll see you in the next video.